channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no panting. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Season finale, guys. Saving Oji-san. We're ready as ever. How are we gonna do this, though? What is the meaning of this scarf? What is the meaning of this scarf, bro? Mikasa scarf. Give me some lore. Oh! 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 Alright, so that's Nonomi, right? That's Nonomi right there. This is Hoshino. This is Hoshino with the scarf. Save Shiroko. We're getting some lore. Okay. Okay. Now, why was she like this? Just an abandoned wolf dog? Just in the street? What is the lore of that? For the scarf. No the opening? They're gonna play the opening at a hype moment, right? Just like every anime finale. Okay. Wait, are we actually pushing them? Do they not have like infinite soldiers? Here's what I expect to happen today. It's not gonna be just us fighting. I think Problem Solver 68 will show up. I think Gehenna might show up. I think Trinity might show up. Millennium, we don't even fucking know. Apparently Sensei has connection with Millennium, but he didn't even ask, right? So like, everyone should show up like at some Avengers, right? It's gotta be like Avengers, where like, everybody shows up at the end. It's like, no way! They! Who are they? <laughs> What are we doing? Nope, we're still running it down mid. When in doubt, run it down mid. Okay, okay. Shiroko's in. Everyone's in. Yo, where's Mr. Kaiser at? God, he's so thick and heavy. Ah. So we're actually not that... I, I thought they had infinite soldiers, but the last battle did take out a lot of, of their troops, so it's looking pretty good. Now, this is hilarious, because this is like a billion-dollar corporation with a military base getting fucked by high school girls with, like, guns. It's like... Random ass high school girls with guns just taking down a billion dollar corporation. Oh, do I smell mutiny? Do I smell betrayal incoming? These foot soldiers are getting kind of upset. Should we call headquarters and Kaiser gets very upset? So, HQ, there's people beyond, you know, the director here that would, like, punish him if they find out this is happening. So he's trying to, like, keep it quiet and under the wrap so that he's not gonna get punished, right? What's coming? Ooh. Sixty-eight. Aru. Hifumi and her <laughs> the really ugly, cute. Duck, you know, fucking backpack. All right, all right, we got Trinity here. <laughs> Alias? <laughs> we got the paper bag back, baby. MST gang. Very cunning. Yeah, I'm definitely not Hifumi, by the way. She's the worst liar ever. 
Way too cunny. It's fine, though. It's fine. Yeah, I don't know who did it. Opening is playing. Instrumental opening. Gehenna hasn't shown up yet. They'll be here. There it is. Yuri. All right. <laughs> Sensei gobbled and then grippers for this. Sensei did it for free, though, honestly. It wasn't even like a payment. He would have done it regardless if they were going to come or not. Just be aware of that. Pino forehead. Okay. <laughs> Even Ayase is getting like a cool moment here. Even though she doesn't directly fight, she's just doing drone control. It's like really epic. Let's go. They really are going all out for the finale. What does she use? Okay, what does she do? She also has a similar weapon like Nonomi, huh? Some kind of like Gatling gun style, huh? Okay. Faust! Now, Problem Solver 6D hasn't shown up though. Wonder why. They're gonna show up later, maybe? From HQ! <laughs> Bro is cooked. Okay, I've been calling him Mr. Kaiser the entire time. He's just director, but basically at HQ, there's like higher ups, and he's like, shit, no, 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 no. Do not tell them what's going on. We're fucked right now. I'll take care of it. <laughs> we just wait. We got it under control. <laughs> director, do something! <laughs> You going in? Yourself? Bro is about to come in and get cooked again. He's gonna lose again, bro. <laughs> he took the jacket off in such a fucking epic way. Actually, he might have just done a flutter the jacket thing. I'll do it myself then. All right, let's see it. Blackboard? It's school material. Why at their base? Another school that used to exist here before the desertification and, you know, Kaiser Corps showing up and making a base around it? Hmm? Hmm? Lore? I think they're eye candy. <laughs> Bro is so mad. He is so mad that these girls are just cunny and happy and having a good time while he's so rich and always upset. See? Power of friendship versus power of money. What do you got? The treasure. The treasure buried underneath. Oh! Again, though? Again. Again, just like last time. Bro pulled out that suit. Who showed up? Problem Solver 68. Ha, dude, boiled. Now Otto's gonna come here and do it again. Kelly! Where do they get the money to rent a heli in this moment right now? Fuel low, please refuel. They might have rented the heli or maybe stole it, but they can't, you know, afford the fuel, so they never bought a gas tank. We're crashing. Let's crash it into Kaiser. Here we go. Wait, that crash itself just defeated him. Wait, what about his robot suit? Straight up worked out even better. We'll take it from here on. All right. Her signature line. Wow, so hard boiled. She could not care less. Yes, Kani Ramen episode, please. Isn't that great, guys? Power of friendship. Power of ramen. Let's see it, director. What are you gonna do now? Wait. What was that look? 
by the way, Kayako, what does that expression mean? So obviously we've kind of like separated ourselves from like the overall Gehenna like HQ with the discipline committee, right? Like 68, even though they used to be Gehenna, they're kind of like identified separately, right? But some kind of drama between Kayako and them? I don't know. That's still the coolest crown. That is still the coolest crown of all the different halos in this show. I think Hina's design is like the coolest. Like, like that, that's a whole ass fucking crown, you know? Everyone else's designs are cool too, but like she gets the crown? That's like the coolest one, man. I still can't believe the cow has a cowbell. Oh, it, this is Hifumi now, not Faust. Your, pro your opponents are high school children. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about just getting defeated by a bunch of high school girls with guns, huh, Mr. Kaiser? Now, Millennium's, I guess, just not gonna show up, huh? So far, the focus has really not been about Millennium at all. It's just been about, you know, Abydos, Problem Solver 68, and Gehenna Extended, and Trinity. But Millennium just... You know, really nothing about them, even though Sensei has worked with them before. Yeah. I just hope we don't go to some bullshit where we're like, it's like evil Hoshino now, and then she's gonna fight us, and, it's, and then she's like the final boss. Oh, hopefully it's not gonna go that direction. We're so close. We're so close. Of course. This is no longer Kani. This is catty, cute and sad. Oh, she got something for each character, huh? Wakey, wakey. She's just going all out. Okay, what about Ayane? I kept calling her Ayase before too. Her name is Ayane. She just doesn't get enough screen time. I don't fucking know anything about her. Lost memories! Even more interesting lore. So we know the scarf lore, but we don't know why she was here. She just lost her memories. How fucking convenient. Every gotcha main character. Oh, I just happened to lose my memory and I came here. And now with each patch, I'm gonna slowly get the memories back, but not enough to, you know, give you the entire story. Because if you guys, if I give you the entire story, then there's no more gotcha left. So slowly, slowly, we're gonna piece it together. Every gotcha main character, man. Right? Was, was the whale the comparison? Is she actually dead? I wonder if she's still alive. Got tricked by an adult. <laughs> Even like the wording of like, you got tricked by an adult. You despicable adult. It's just so funny if you consider the nature of the story and, you know, all the girls are just, none of them are, you know, <laughs> of age, I think. <laughs> just adults just, you know, play the same thing. Oh, cunny girls. And how dare you get tricked by one? She's too independent. Here we go! <laughs> Wait, what happened just there? Door just exploded and Oji-san just fell. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. How we just showed up at the room. <laughs> she just fall apart because the red strings, you know, leave. The last name of what Yisan mentions is Shiroko. Because clearly she's the most important. And yes, nothing for Sensei was said. <laughs> there was not a single thing about Sensei there. It was just all the girls, the main girls. Bonk. Oh. Something about that. Something, something, something. <laughs> the director's having... He's having a great time right now. The director's acting like, you know, he's losing, so he's gonna get stepped on by these girls. <laughs> What's going on? Is everything here gonna explode? Oh, I thought... 
we saved, we were almost at, you know, Oji-san's place, and that's why this is happening. I thought that was us. And we're dead. <coughs> picture? Picture of us? Aquarium day picture? <gasps> Yume. Yume is a dream. Her name is Dream. Huh. Such a different voice acting back in these days for Oji-san. Mm -hmm. She loves Hoshino, man. So soon did it towards Yume-senpai. The miracles again. Will a miracle happen? Then? Then what? If you get a cute junior, then... Okay, okay. It's just like, only when you're in my position, you will realize the happy feelings that I'm feeling about you right now being my junior. Uh-oh! <laughs> Are you sure we're a miracle? I don't know, this feels really fucking unlucky right now, but maybe, you know, this is a blessing in disguise, let's see it. Uh... These are things that you see before you die. And someone's gonna reach out. Shiroko. Sensei? No, no, me. Everybody? Who? Ramen shop owner, Shiba boss. What was that hand? What was that hand? Oh, wait, 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 wait. One, two. That cuff. Is that Sensei's hand? I don't know. Is that Sensei's cuff? I... I don't know. It, it, it's kind of hard to tell. Someone saved her there. He, oh, what? Yo, he's getting away. <laughs> the director is getting away again. Not a he's a motherfucker. He just got loose. He was tied up. These ropes ain't doing shit. He's like, I'm out of here. Yo, why the director kind of cute? He a little pudgy. He a little cute, huh? He's so thick. I think it was Sensei's hand. If you look at everyone's like cuffs here, the hands, no one matches but Sensei's. I, I think it was Sensei's, right? And Millennium never showed up, as expected. Yeah. And I'm glad we didn't do like evil Hoshino or something. Where? She was falling down so hard. Where the fuck was Sensei? Oh, it wasn't Sensei. It was Shiroko. Okay. So like every she was holding off the edge. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, because like she was falling down. It's like, how could Sensei just popped up out of nowhere and held her hand? But if Shiroko uses her drone thing, it makes sense. <laughs> this adult didn't trick you. It's a good adult. <laughs> Isn't that the thing that she said would be cringe? Didn't we think of like what we're going to say when Hoshino's back? And Nonomi was like, yeah, we should welcome her back. And Seriko was like, <laughs> cringe. L, that's so weird. And now she fucking does it immediately. Steals Nonomi's spotlight. <laughs> I'll turn live. Oh, Tada, Tada something. Say the line. Ta -da. She's really teasing us with this one. With the head tilt. <laughs> Why is it always like that? That there's always a slight head tilt, right? A smiling and like a eh, you know, they always do that shit. Welcome back! We got some post credit scenes here. Wait, the brand new. <laughs> brand new. I don't even know what this is called, right? But it's like, holy shit, this thing is huge. How much? How what? Her collection of this thing is gonna go crazy, man. This is why she uses all her rich girl, you know, paychecks on. Ramen date! They all got their own bowls. Aw, oh, you know damn well they can't afford this shit. Shiba boss probably gave them individual bowls. 
Arwipa. I wonder what she's showing here. Wonder what, you know, Arwipa is showing the phone. Like, the amount of money we have in her bank account. It's like, ah, oh, shit, we don't have enough. What's that? What's on the phone? And then, here we go. Back in shit him chest. What are they talking about? Aw, oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? What does it say? What does it say? Where's my subs? Fuck you! Any uh, Japanese people in chat? Any, any what, what is this? Uh, welcome to the fucking... I don't know. This is in the blue archive. And guys, that's it. That's in the season one. And you know what? This is a thoroughly good anime. I would give this a minimum 7 out of 10. Meaning it can be anything higher than 7. I don't know where it's going to fall into. But I think the overall quality of the animation was crisp. Soundtracks, you know, character designs, amazing because they're based off the gacha characters and, you know, they have great designs. The story as well is very interesting. The story is so mysterious and we don't know exactly how Shiroko lost her memory. We don't know exactly what caused the desertification of this place, why Abidus main school was buried underneath from the desert, and who even caused that maybe in the treasure underneath. And Yume Senpai, she's still around. There is still all of that stuff, you know, that we need to discover in season 2 and beyond. Or I could just play the goddamn gacha game, but if I do that, the reactions cannot be blind reactions. So, hey, if you're still here, and if you guys, you know, just watched me for Blue Archive, I thank you so much for checking out, you know, this reaction channel. I know that Blue Archive, Arctan Reaction, this is more external community stuff that I'm trying to tap into. And y'all were there, and you watched it, and hey, we watch a lot of different anime in this channel. And if you're down to watch some, check the different videos I make about, you know, I ask you guys, what do you guys want to watch? Then you basically, you know, comment it, and we pull and stuff like that, and we can have more fun times. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction. Read text says, congratulations, approval. All right, goodbye guys. <laughs> Take care.